folks, on to second and third round games in Spokane on Thursday and Saturday. The number five seed and the third Big 12 team, the Oklahoma Sooners out of the Big 12. They finished second in the Big 12 this season, 23 and nine overall, and the Sooners all the way up to a five seed. Potent offensive team is Lon Kruger's bunch. Who will they meet? out of the Summit League, the number 12 seed, the Bison of North Dakota State. The Bison won both the Summit League regular season and tournament championship 25 and six on the year. The number four seed, the second team out of the Mountain West, the Aztecs of San Diego State. They won the Mountain West regular season title, lost the tournament championship to New Mexico. They will meet out of the WAC, the Aggies of New Mexico State. After finishing second in the WAC, the Aggies won the conference tournament to advance to their third straight NCAA tournament to second. And he has this Aztecs program now, a perennial contender on the national stage. And he is going against one of his former assistants in Marvin Minzy, a longtime close and personal friend. This is Shalitsi Napawe, who is built like a superhero. Inside, Skyler Spencer had it poked away. They're so agile, so quick with their hands defensively inside. This New Mexico State front court, one of the most imposing in the country. And that one never had a chance. Davis blocked. Feet, nope. And now you gotta run him. And that's why he labors a bit, gotten up and down the floor. Davis can't hit, tipped up and in. I believe they'll give it to J.J. O'Brien. This is Elrich. O'Brien poked it away. Davis the loose ball. Biggest key, Doug, for New Mexico State to try to win this game. Well, they're going to play a triangle, but they have to contain that guy, Xavier Thames. He's a one-man bailout mechanism. Collins pass intercepted. Aggies still looking for their first points. 5-0. As Thames buries the three. Daniel Mullings. You cannot give Ronis any airspace. <laughs> Trying to follow the footsteps of North Dakota State, who pulled the upset just a little while ago. Beautiful. O'Brien running the lane. Rewarding. JJ O'Brien. Yeah. O'Brien, he's as smart a player as I have ever coached. Backdoor, Eldridge. Offensive rebound, Dixon. And in field goal defense, percentage. As Thames buries along two. And of course, Thames knows the area well. He transferred from Washington State to Palouse just down the road. He's jump shooter. Ooh, way hard finish by Napawe. Knocked out of back. Sending Thames. Davis to the rim, left-handed reverse high off glass. Here's getting in the gym, working on their game, and really improving. Shot clock at 10, the Poway, Baker from deep. Offensive rebound to Poway, powers up, Shrigley got him from the back. Matt Shrigley. New Mexico State, if you've just joined us, six of 22 from the field. Yeah, but they're still in this game because they just Play their big man in the lane. Pressure out in the guard. Fame short. And roots the basketball left-handed. Matter of fact, his dad. Four run for the Aztecs. And their defense has completely bottled up the Aggies. Poli. He is as smooth as ever in the open. Shrigley. Way outside on a big three. 14-point game. At some point, New Mexico State is going to have to kick its offense into gear. They are 7 for 26 so far. Napawe against Johnson. Gets the friendly bounce. Uh, New Mexico State goes to a zone. Two seconds. Good look for Thames. Can't hit. Big half time here in Spokane. New Mexico State, season low for points in a first half with only 20. They kind of funnel him to the corner. Now to Poway. 
Eldridge blocked by Thames. He is a demon on the defensive end of the floor. Shrigley. Fular. Ball batted around by Baker. Loose ball, Mullings. Well played. Uh-oh. Aronis. That's his spot. Two-point game. Surprisingly, 14 seconds. They're one of their last 10, and three for 14 shooting overall since halftime. Not to mention they've turned it over five times. Fame's their best player, but he's had some issues at times with his shooting droughts. Dwayne Poe Lee gets a big bucket. Davis takes his turn on Boulard. Six. Unique graphics like that one. Shepard on a floater. Step to him when you're falling out of bounds. And he's simply unguardable. And he hits a cutter and you get a layup. Mm. Oh, they left Shepard open. Not sure they want to do that. Well, Shepard's not a very good three-point shooter, but he has hit some big ones. His fifth three of the year was Davis. After checking for all of his teeth, Baker stays in. Five minutes left. Aggies down eight. Where do they turn to here for offense? Napawe. Lost the handle. Boulard takes it back. Spencer blocked him. Baker had an excellent look. Boulard's in foul trouble. There's so much valuable time coming off the clock. Down eight points. Beams. Rebound Aronis. Put down to a minute 15. Aronis from deep. Got it. Aztecs up five. The state's NCAA bid ending last year. Davis out. If San Diego State is fortunate to advance, Dwayne Poli knocks down the first two. Tex all season long, as good as they are defensively, would they be good enough and dynamic enough offensively come March? You got to get in a hurry. Look for Arona shooting a three. Here he is. Can't hit it. Dixon the rebound. Back up. Down five. Thames an 83% free throw. We have a freshman point guard who's trying to just get the... Poli misses the front end. Here comes Mullings. Mullings, the player of the year, as we told you, in the whack. 33.1 to play. Oh, he cut his teeth by... Thames hits both. Five. Aggies out of timeouts. Aronis. Kept alive by Mullings. Dixon, turn it over. It is a one possession game. I think he wanted to settle his troops down, but. Baker. Aronis for the tie. Well short. They get it back to him. He'll try again. Got it. Thames. On the floater, and we are headed to overtime. <laughs> On the first, San Diego State has two. Save you, Thames, who told you how good he is late. I'm inside. Ahead to Mullings. Wow, Swanee, wow. what a play by Poli. Thames with 11 to shoot. Spencer. Contact instead of the game being tied. 3% free throw shooter. Now, Sandy. Flee to the wreck. Gets the floater. Last time and probably got fouled on the three. They were just fortunate he missed it. Dixon steps out. Dangerous pass. Shepard couldn't hit. Davis tips it in. Napawe drops step in. Let's put the pressure on San Diego State a little bit further. Let's see what happens. Napawe's free throw rims in. Shot clock at seven. Thames against Baker. Thames off balance. Have another big shot in him. Baker turned back. 
by guess who, Spencer. Basketball fan, lucky enough to be here today. You got your... It was up seven with a minute left in regulation. Aronis left it short, the inbounder. Inbounds, Mullins' man hit the deck. O'Brien, two-point game. Oh, get it. Earlier in the overtime. It'll still be a one-possession game. Now you foul. Two-point shot to beat you. And that's what came back to win the game. Mulling 72% on the season. Louisville just a short time ago as a four seed in Orlando, barely surviving. Two shots for Pauline. And the winner advances to take on North Dakota State. That'll be here Saturday. And you think that's a tough matchup I think for it's the a, Aztecs? A really tough matchup. We saw New Mexico State go triangle in two, but the style that the Bison play both offensively and defensively will be a difficult one. That puts the game away. San Diego State and Steve Fisher survive and advance. Aztecs win it by four.